Precious Kiki. I got on gloves, y'all, because I'm getting ready to tackle my kitchen. The kitchen was the last room in the house that we needed to uh, update and fix. Um, I don't have, I left the kitchen for last because the kitchen didn't, it doesn't need that much work to it. I guess because we're in here a lot, I keep it clean and I keep it pretty much, pretty much good. But the only thing that I need to do in the kitchen that I have not, that I did last year, but I didn't do all the way around my crown moldings. See my crown moldings? Um, the only thing that I did not do in here in my kitchen for my crown is I didn't do my crown molding from the bay window all the way around. So that's what I'm getting ready to do now. Like there are some things that you have to do just because you buy a house. You don't just buy a house and just live in it and don't, don't keep it up. You have to keep your house up and you have to keep it so that the cracks are sealed. Um, the, you know, things like that are done. Like for example, let me show you this. Also look right here. That's really bad right there. And this is the part that I didn't do last year, but it wasn't this bad last year. Um, so I'm getting ready to, I'm getting ready to tackle all of that, y'all. Now over here by the bay window, it's really not that bad because I've already pretty much sealed over here. I just see a couple of areas that I do need to touch up. That's what's about to go down, y'all. Um, I got my ladder here right here ready i got my um caulking gun this one my dad left here when i when i first moved here my dad left his here and ever since he left this here i've been using his instead of mine because i got my own but um i've been using his so yeah because my i don't know if i ever told you guys i know y'all are probably wondering how i know how to do this stuff it ain't because of YouTube, y'all. Mm -mm. Now, if it's something I don't know how to do, then, I, yeah, I will go and look it up on YouTube. Um, but first, the first thing I do is talk it over with my dad. My dad had his own contracting business. He's a licensed contractor, and that was his side job on top of his main job, his full-time main job. His main job was in Nabisco for a tomb since he was 21. My dad worked there over 30 years. Um, he retired from there, um, but he also had his own business on the side, which was his contracting business. So after he would get off of work at 3.30 um, during the weekdays, he would go and do contracting work, fixing on people houses and fixing on this. And fi that, that's what my dad did. And for years when I was a little girl, I would go with him when he came home from work. I would go with him to um so when he was working on those houses my dad i have seen him lay bricks i i i clear out i can lay a brick because i've seen my dad do it so much lay bricks and deal with cement and deal with all i've seen him do this so much and hang up um light fixtures and hang up um ceiling fans i've seen him do so much of this stuff that is like the gene just came down to me <laughs> it came down to me i think it came and i used to joke my brother because i feel like it came down to me more than it did to him i used to be like i def definitely got my dad jeans because my brother he wasn't fixing stuff until like lately you know the last couple of years but my dad man my dad i've watched him for years and I've seen him do that stuff. And I clear out that I'm going to end up laying a brick soon. Like, I feel like I'm going to end up laying a brick before it's all over. Because I've seen my dad do that so many times. I've seen him fix things so many times. So, now that I have my own house, it's like I'm doing those things. I've seen my dad caulk a million times. So, I'm about to caulk this house. Okay? I'm about to caulk this kitchen I to show and you guys um and then we're gonna hang a new picture over there i wanted to paint the kitchen but i ain't got time for that right now <laughs> so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna caulk it wipe it down wipe my walls down wipe my ceiling down 
And um, yeah, y'all, that's what we about to do. What I'm about to do anyway. So let me get my caulking gun and let me get to going. What you do is you just go ahead and squeeze some out. As you can see, there are some cracks in here that are very deep. And so what I'm trying to do is make sure that I am covering that. And it does look kind of messy right now, but we'll fix it. Okay, we will fix that, okay? So you just get your tissue, you can wet it or you can do it dry. Um, it makes it easier for you if you wet it. I don't have time for all that right now, so I'm doing it dry. Um, and you just clean up what you did. Just clean it up off the wall and everywhere and as you can see it looks good right there but i still have some holes that i need to fill in okay because it's such a big gap that i need to do some more in these gaps if you can see these gaps right here so I'm just gonna do a little bit more there to fill in these gaps right there. Take your tissue again. This time I'm gonna go this way, see if I can get them filled. Yeah, I filled them this time. I filled them, now I'm just gonna get it off the wall. Just keep rubbing to get it off the wall. This is where your, your wet one would do really good, but I, I prefer to do mine dry because I've done it so much that I, um, I know how to get it off. And then I'm just getting right there because there was a spot there as well. I think over there is good. Let's just do one more coat just to be on the safe side. Okay. And there you have it. It looks clean. It looks better. Um, I see one more spot. Y'all, I can see the smallest spots. I don't know what why I'm like that. <laughs> Okay, there we go. Okay, so you see that's sealed and it looks much better. And yeah, now I'm gonna continue with, um, with the top. Um, now I got all of that around. I've already done the entire sink all the way around. So that's all fixed. And now I need to go and do this top that I showed you earlier. I'm getting ready to tackle that part, so. So I like to have my paper towels ready because I already know that it's gonna be messy. This is a deep crack, so I'm gonna seal this crack up here. All right. And as you can see, it's almost gone. There's a little bit more right here. We're gonna knock that out. Cool. And it doesn't it looks like a brand new ceiling. I'm gonna get this end right here. I 
I'm just gonna get the crack spaces today. I'm not gonna get any extra. Um, I'm just gonna double this, just to be careful. Yeah. Okay, and now I'm gonna get this crack right here. I don't like the way that look. And y'all know I ain't trying to have no bugs come from anywhere. <laughs> And then with that, I'm just gonna take this and I'm just gonna wipe the crack to push it in. Okay, and there you have it. That one's done. Now I gotta get this middle piece because there's, it's starting to crack in this middle part. So I'm just gonna get right here. It's starting to crack where the paint is. So I'm just gonna get right up in there. Okay. See? We also moved the kitchen sign over here, over the sink. We made a change there. The kitchen sign used to be right here, but we moved the fork and the spoon over there, which changes the dynamic of the room. The crack that I showed you earlier that was up here against the wall, look at this now. Like it's totally sealed and even above here and I showed you around my sink all of that is now sealed um, the crack that was over here that I showed you that was right there that's now sealed and caught and all of this is caught all of this and I even caught a little bit over here by the bay window Okay, um, now you see a new addition. I bought this weeks ago. Um, oh, I mean, weeks ago we bought this. And um, we finally were able to put it up. So there you have it. It is up. And um, I think I'm going to get a carry sign to go over top of it. Um, I feel like it's a little bit lonely over here by itself. So we're going to get a pair of sign. Um, to put over top of it. So yeah, y'all, that's the updated kitchen. And um, the funny thing is that once I get the caulk in, y'all, I will caulk all day long. I'll find cracks and stuff everywhere. But um, this is my kitchen. And um, I put my coffee maker out so it can go ahead and do for tomorrow um for the morning but i absolutely like the kitchen sign up there it kind of decorates the room a little bit more um and i absolutely like it so yeah i like it look at that So yeah, y'all, um, we got it all done. Um, I am absolutely loving it. And so we have taken care of the kitchen. I'm gonna come down here tomorrow and um, dust all this glass. <laughs> 
I'm going to come in here tomorrow and go ahead and clean all this glass and get that out of the way. Uh, <laughs> all this mirror stuff. I got to I got to do all that. That's all I'm doing. I hope you enjoyed the video um, of the kitchen makeover. <laughs> That was definitely a kitchen makeover. Um, I thought it wasn't going to be that much to do in there, which it really wasn't. I mean, we kind of did it in a day versus two and three and four days. We still have to change change out the sockets, uh, the the panels, the light panels and switch panels in there. So we still have to do that. You know, don't forget to thumbs up the video. Don't forget to subscribe and share my videos with others. And don't forget to be the best you that you can be. I'll talk to you guys later.